Hello, my cookies. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome, Russell Cook. All right, today, summer, and I feel like tacos. So I'm going to be making some salmon tacos with an avocado crema. Some light pickled veg on top. So for our salmon, we are going to do an avocado crema. And that just means it's almost like a sour cream. A lot of times you just take some lime juice, add it to sour cream, and you got an impromptu crema. We want to do something that was a little bit, just take it up a little notch. That's incorporating some avocado. All right, for this avocado crema, we have perfectly ripe avocado, lime, cilantro, whole milk yogurt. We're gonna adjust the consistency with water as needed. So we'll add a little bit here and there. There's no set amount. Also, you're gonna want some salt. All right, so I got my avocado. I'm just gonna scoop it out into chunks into my food processor. And then we're gonna need about a quarter cup, maybe a third cup. I like it a little cilantro heavy. Of cilantro. And for the lime, we're gonna do a tablespoon of juice, no zest. Again, this is one avocado. About a third cup. Give or take a tablespoon and a half lime juice. About a half teaspoon kosher salt. For your whole milk yogurt, we do two tablespoons. I'm gonna process that up in the food processor, and we're gonna add water as the blade's going to get it down to kind of like a thin, plain yogurt. Here we go. Scrape down the sides as needed. All right, I'm just gonna add a little water at a time. I don't wanna do more than a tablespoon at a time and at maximum add three tablespoons of water to this at maximum. That was about a tablespoon and a half of water. Oh uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're right about there. All right, look at this color. Look how beautiful this is. Because of the lime juice, the avocado is not gonna oxidize. So make this before you start making your salmon. So I'm just gonna cover it and refrigerate it until I'm ready to use it. Now we're gonna make the slaw for these salmon tacos. All right, we have our avocado crema. Now we need a flavorful kind of topping to add a little bit of crunch and zest and whatnot. But I got a treat for you. For this slaw, you're using a jicama. I've got leftover red cabbage, you can use that. Some radish, some limes, and of course, some cilantro. And last but not least, some red onion. Small red onion's perfect. All right, now we got our ingredients, let's get going. All right, for the slaw, you're gonna want about a half teaspoon of lime zest and about two tablespoons of juice. You should be able to get that out of one lime. And about a half teaspoon of the zest, and what I'm gonna do is full lime of juice. So you get two tablespoons. All right, now for my veg, I got radishes. Uh, I love a good radish. They add a little bit of pepperiness. They're kind of like cooling and crunchy and juicy like a cucumber. I'm just gonna cut it into thin little batons here. And you don't need a lot of each of these. You just need a couple cups total. Now this is jicama. Now if you're not familiar with it, root tuber, very crisp, it's juicy. Doesn't have a ton of flavor, hard to describe. It's kind of earthy, but at the same time, it reminds me of a cucumber, but that might just be a texture thing. Gotta peel it. I'm gonna be using about half of this. I'm gonna cut this in batons as well, maybe an inch by eighth inch. Doesn't have to be perfect, not going for Michelin stars here. Let's have a little taste. Mm. Juicy, fresh, yeah. Get a little earthiness to it, a little cucumberness to it, almost like a little appleness to it. Mm. It can be perfect on top of our salmon tacos. All right, there's plenty of that. I'm just gonna do a little red cabbage, just left over, maybe a quarter cup, place it nice and thin. All right, now onion, small onion. You're not even gonna need half of a small onion. This is a large red onion, so I'm gonna use maybe a quarter of this. We got our veggies. Now, maybe another quarter cup of cilantro here. Look at that, let's toss it together. Put a little bit more lime juice in. Let's sprinkle a little bit of salt on this as well. Maybe a half teaspoon, do it to taste. Now, isn't that just beautiful? That's gonna go on top of our salmon. Okay, let's give it a little taste. Hmm, limey with the radish coming through, a little peppery, I like it. Voila, all right, now we gotta do our salmon. All right, we got our avocado crema, done. Our lightly pickled slaw, done. Now, time for the salmon. I'm cooking for a crowd, so I wanna make about 12 tacos. I'm doing about one and a half pounds of salmon. I like wild caught in this regard, because we're adding so many other things. We're adding a sauce, we're adding the slaw, we're adding crunch, we're adding everything we need, so I don't really need fatty farm salmon. I'm doing wild caught sockeye. First thing you're gonna wanna do is check and make sure the bones are out. 
just gonna trim them up, get some of this fatty belly off. I'm gonna put a nice chili powder rub on them, then we're gonna sear them up. I want a lot of color on the top, so I'm putting that side down first. Another trick is, if you're pulling out bones, I always put them on the back of your hand. They stick to everything. All right, I just have a classic chili powder here. I'll sprinkle it on top. All right, now this chili powder has salt in it, otherwise it seasons it up as well. Get my griddle hot, you can use this on a grill, you can use this in a pan, whatever you want. Look at that. All right, turning the heat down, let these go for about five more minutes. I want them cooked all the way through. I'm gonna blacken these up real quick on my stove top. Putting them right on the burner. That's how we used to do them in the restaurant. We have the avocado crema right here. I'm just gonna take this, just put it on the bottom here. All right. Look at that. That is nice looking salmon. I'm just gonna flake some off. Again, we're not eating the skin, so I wasn't worried about crisping that up, even though it came out pretty crispy. And I did a wild caught sockeye salmon. I didn't go for that full fat Atlantic, you know, overly fatty. I'm dressing this up, so I'm okay if my salmon's a little drier. Oh uh, yeah. And here's that slaw. All right, a little jicama, a little radish, cilantro, lime zest, lime juice, a little cabbage, a little red onion. Ah, uh, yes. Look at this. Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> All right, here we go. I love this. Salmon comes through, it's got a little bit of that chili powder on it. You get the crunch from the veggies, a little bit of the onion in this. That fatty, rich avocado just kind of makes everything go together. It just completely combines it. And the crunch, you have all the flavors from all these different things, all these different elements come together in a flash. Mm. Using that sockeye salmon, it's so salmony. Not fishy, not bad. You just get that big, bold salmon flavor. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Try and stream at least once a week. I got videos and whatnot. So see you all next time. Really appreciate it. Have a good one all. Thanks again. Take care.